My make code arcade game pick of the week is Element Catch, the compound creator. This is cool. It's a sort of edutainment game that was created by Corey Zenberg, and it is used to teach which chemical elements form different compounds. Uh, And so let's take a look at the game itself. And uh, actually, you might even hear this. I can't remember if my setup is going to work like that right now. Okay, so I'm going to catch that. Oh, I already have enough of that. All right, so I'm going to hit A. And now I don't want... You get away. I don't want a carbon atom. I need a chlorine atom. Let's get it. Boom, built hydrogen peroxide is the next one. So um, one thing I want you to notice is watch when I get one of these elements... Look at my beaker. It's now got this little sloshing uh, liquid animation. And I thought that was really, really cool. So I wanted to take a look at how that was done. Let's hit stop here on the simulator. Uh, Here is the code. So I'm going to zoom out. And you can use command and the scroll wheel to zoom out quickly. Uh, And I am looking for these green blocks, which are the animation blocks. So check this out. It's pretty nice. This is a separate function that's called fill. And as soon as a, uh, an atom that you're supposed to get, or an element you're supposed to get, is, uh, collides with the player beaker, it tells it to run this animation. So this is using the animation extension. It says set anim fill to create a fill with interval of 100 milliseconds. And then it attaches that anim fill animation to the flask, which is a, a player sprite. And then there are these five frames of animation. And so you can see it's uh, sort of in a steady state, but a little to the left. Then it's been redrawn to climb up the wall on the left. And we have a perfectly flat. And then it sloshes all the way up the side on the right and then comes down to mostly settled again. And I thought that was a really nice way to add what's called secondary animation to the game to give you a sense that things are alive. And it's the first time I've seen someone add that kind of secondary animation in a make code arcade game. And so I thought it was super cool. And uh, I encourage you to go check it out. And you might also learn some chemical compounds along the way. So that is my make code arcade pick of the week.